Good evening to uh, all of you here tonight, and good evening to Bishop Waddell and to, to all the bishops, stake presidents, Relief Society leaders, and outstanding members of the LDS community represented here today. I think I speak for the entire West Valley when I say thank you for what you've built here and what you've done for your fellow Arizonans for decades throughout our state. It's incredible and inspiring to all of us. For 75 years, the LDS Church, through the outstanding work with Deseret Industries, has made it their mission to serve the underserved, feed the hungry, counsel and console the lost and alone, relieve the suffering, help the down on their luck get back on their feet, and because of it, communities and individuals throughout Arizona and the West are better off. And now with the expansion of these services right here in Glendale, your support, encouragement, love, and healing will reach even more of our neighbors in need. Whether through the Bishop Storehouse, employment resource centers, family and welfare services, community outreach, or humanitarian aid. I just have had a tour of all this and I have to tell you it is so incredibly impressive. What you provide to others can be boiled down to two very powerful words, opportunity and self-reliance. That's a focus that I, in my role, share with you. And it's the basis of the work that we're doing at the state level. Whether it's creating more jobs for Arizonans, ensuring that every child, regardless of where they live, has access to an excellent education, or standing up for the nearly 19,000 children in our foster care system. Protecting our communities from the scourge of crime and drugs and providing meaningful, effective, accessible care and treatment for individuals suffering from addiction. Our people in the state of Arizona are our focus. But government certainly can't be all things to all people. We can do a lot, and we are, to help the needy and the most vulnerable among us. But at the end of the day, our faith communities and especially the remarkable LDS leaders assembled here tonight are best equipped to address the spiritual, temporal, and familial needs in our society. You've proven through the work you've done through the church and throughout Arizona that you know how to do this. And I believe we can learn a lot from you at the state level and how to apply these principles. And this facility that we're here tonight celebrating this evening encompasses all of those needs and more. From the outside, Deseret Industries looks like a thrift store, a very nice thrift store. But we know that it's much more than that. It's a bridge to opportunity and to self-reliance. It helps people regardless of where they are in life and how they got there get connected to a job, to job training, to an education, to a meal, to a shirt on their back, and ultimately to a better life. So let me just say once again, thank you. God bless you all and your vital contributions and your continued service to the state of Arizona. I'm grateful for what you do and I'm thankful for your welcome and hospitality here tonight. Thanks for having me.